Bagong aliansang tagapagtaguyod ng adhikaing sa bayanan. Hello and welcome to the pilot episode of The Mystic Road to Success. Here's yours truly at your service, Mystica. I'm sure that everybody has been wondering where have I been and what have I been doing? Okay, just to let you know, I've been doing a lot of my advocacies, especially my environmental advocacy. And of course, with my charity works with my Mystica Charity Foundation and uh, through the help of Better Globe. It's a Norwegian company and of course we have the Better Globe Forestry in Kenya. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to show you as well some footages when I was there. And of course, I'm going to feature you also some of my Mystica celebrity talents. So uh, just uh, stick around and stand by because we're going to be showing you a lot of my advocacy. So please don't go away. <laughs> Better Globe is all about putting the green back in our environment while helping lives get better. I would like to also explain a little bit what Better Globe Group is doing. There are several, several companies, some is in Norway and, and some will be in Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania, uh, Sudan and Ethiopia, which are the five countries in East Africa which we are going to work on in the years to come. We have huge goals and we're going to break world records Na tutafanya kazi na watu pande hiyo 5 billion trees and even more because that is a way to improve even the weather uh, condition. Uplifting lives in the African continent through job generation, education and overall countryside transformation. And all is because of one product, trees. Philippine personality and lifestyle philanthropist Mystica, with the blessing of Better Globe CEO Rina Solberg, has taken up the company's vision and cause and aptly named the movement Better Globe, Better Philippines. The Philippines figured itself in international news in what are known to be nature's worst disasters and humanity's greatest tragedies. The Orma flood of 1991, Ginsaugon landslide of 2006, and Typhoon Ondoy flooding of 2009. All this had strong ecological roots. The Philippines not only needs to get itself out of the red and fight economic poverty, but into the green movement. The Better Globe, Better Philippines program is unique because it doesn't ask you to give away your money. It asks you to support, to plant trees and make a difference. By literally growing your money on trees, backed by both a solid financial model and solid forestry experts. You become a stakeholder, not just of the Philippines and Kenyan environment, but the many millions of lives that you can exponentially help in the next 15 years and beyond. But that is not all. Other specific beneficiaries for every 1,000 pesos donations goes to the Social Civic Anchor Club in the Philippines and even persons with disabilities. Two countries, one goal. Reforestations for the most part has become an abstract motherhood and often unreal statement. This time the results can be quantifiable and the outcome can be planet saving, life changing and so we start one country at a time for the next 15 years. It's going to be Kenya and the Philippines. It sounds ambitious but as Better Globe's history dictates, it can be done. Better Globe, Better Philippines has one product trees and one goal better lives be part now of the green revolution all right later on ladies and gentlemen we're going to uh, feature also my co-host and his name is mr joe marjanko and of course he's also uh and introducing to our movie called uh, carido
אמרתי אותם, הסאים. Bigan, as I had promised a while ago na ipapakilala ko sa inyo kung sino yung aking co-host for tonight. So, wala pong iba kundi si Mr. Jomar Janko. Ayan, Mr. Jomar, patingin mo naman ang ating audience, especially uh, sa Pilipinas and of course throughout the world. Uh, good evening, Philippines, and good evening to our audience worldwide. Good evening also to you, Ms. Mistika. Yeah, thank you so much. Alam mo ba na pwede pala tayong panoorin ngayon ng uh, the, the entire world kasi uh, napapanood din tayo sa internet. Okay? Mm, so kung much. ano yung time na talagang live on air tayo, mm -hmm. yun din yung time. Kaya lang kung sakaling uh, tonight, uh, talagang uh, night time dito, and then of course, kung doon ay... Uh, ano, yung oras na ganito ay daytime sa kanila. So, ganun pa rin. Hindi yung parang replay lang or whatever. So, and that's also the reason why I am actually talking in English. So, at least uh, a lot of them could possibly understand what I'm talking about. Okay? Exactly. Alright. So, now you have done to introduce yourself and of course, kung ano yung mga pinagdaanan mo sa showbiz or kung paano ka nakapasok sa showbiz or bago ka nakarating kay Mystica. Okay, um, that's very nice of you, ma'am. Okay. Um, okay, to start, um, before in college, I was befriended, or I had a best friend um, who is into modeling, and he has done many commercials, ganyan ganyan. Tapos na intriga ako, so I decided to try it out. Um, things didn't work well muna. Tapos then he left. I had to pursue it on my own. Wala naman ako ng showbiz background and everything. So, yun nga. Um, I did some projects, small projects. Then stopped for a while because I need to work. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I realized that acting is really, my, is really my passion. And I asked myself, how do I get there? Dito sa Pilipinas, politiko at media lang ang nagpapaanggan ng mundo. At artista ka lang. Ano yung artista? Manood ka kung paano ko papasabuhin ang kaligayahan mo. I don't have any showbiz background or I'm not from a showbiz family. So what I did was to pursue modeling. And uh, it, I still had some small projects. Then I decided to venture to theater and hosting. I am doing corporate hosting even as, as of the moment. Okay, that's good. Well, at least uh, they know that you are not just actually somebody who just came out from the street mm -hmm. and all of a sudden Mystica actually spotted you right there and then all of a sudden you're here. Okay, so my background ka din. I also, saka, did, some, yeah. I also okay. did some films um, for Cinemalaya. It was for 2010 Recruit. It, I'm co-starring with James Guzman, Joanne Bascon, Emilio Garcia, and Maxine Magulana then. I was not really... I'm no, really noticed because of the famous cast that was already there. Okay, that's nice. That's really nice to know. So, Mama, yeah, you're going to interview our first uh, feature. And of course, walang iba kundi yung nanalo na global green revolution. Okay? Uh, the last time kasi nagkaroon ako ng Mystica pageant. And of course, uh, with the uh, support of Better Globe. So, uh, by the time uh, she really deserved to win and papalabas din natin kung paano siya nagumpisa at how did she get to the point where she actually won the competition. Okay? You know, that's really good news since people need to know the reality or the, tr the truth behind how showbiz personalities come into play or kung paano sila nakakapasok sa show mm. business, hindi din talaga madali. Right. At sa gusto kong malaman ng iba na the reason why I had that Mystica pageant, hindi lang po para makita kung sino yung mga pinakagwapo, pinakamaganda, pinakamatangkad, or pinakasexy. They usually yun ang mga requirements ng uh, ano, diba, para manalo. Pero for here, I was actually looking for the true beauty. Real beauty. Hindi lang yung beauty from outside, kundi beauty from within. At siya po mismo, and uh, I know that she really deserved to win because yung pinakita niya na very determined siya. Talagang she was very sincere. Talagang uh, kung ano yung uh, talagang ipakita ng isang tao para manalo. And then she really did her best. Mm. Okay? So, antapayan. story. <laughs> it is. So, antapayan po niya mga kaibigan. Mm -hmm. Dahil mamaya you're going to interview her. Okay? okay? So, please don't go away.
Bagong aliyans ang tagapagtaguyod ng adhikaing sambayanan! Welcome to Better Globe and the Better Globe group of companies. We are a company that will really set on to eradicate poverty in Africa. That is our main goal. And our vision is to become probably the biggest tree planting company in the world. Also, we are working on microfinance to help poor farmers sustain their business. And we are building schools for children. Everything is in a concept called Better Globe for a Better Future. And I would like also to explain to you why we are doing this. We believe that to sustain poverty for people in Africa will help the whole world. Africa is an explosive country, or not country, but a continent with a lot of potentials. First and foremost, where there are many poor people, we can create jobs for them by planting trees. Better Globe have actually based all our work on two products which we are selling around the world. One product is just simply trees. We have specialized in planting a mokal tree which we have developed also through uh, in vitro production. We are getting the in vitro protocol for this fantastic tree and we are selling the tree to people who want to buy our commodity and make money in the process. This way we would like to build the environment to a better one for the whole world and at the same time sustain communities around the plantations so you can say it very simply when we have a plantation we employ people then we give microfinance to the poor farmers so they can make business and get a better living then we work with child africa which is a sister organization an ngo child africa will then build schools around the plantation and all these things, think, th things taken into consideration, we are building communities for the poor people and, of course, for a better environment. So I can guarantee you that if you go on to Better Globe and, and work with us buying trees or buying our second product, which is a donation package, we are actually the first one in the whole world which have done something that nobody else have done, and that is to make charity a business. We believe that's the only way to eradicate poverty, to make somebody making money to help other people. And that is what we have done. We have made a package called a donation package, which we actually give you, whatever you give is giving 100% to the people, to the things you are giving away as a donation. They will get it uncut from Better Globe. We will plant trees also for you in that package, so you will actually get seven and a half time your investment back it's not really an investment we are talking about but it is it's becoming an investment when you buy something for the poor people we will give you interest on that and that is nobody else who have done such a thing before so we we call that a sustainable charity with interest i believe that many people would, would like to give to poor people and help them but very often it's not uh, easy to find out where the money went and what it was used for. We will then be very much transparent in our business there to show you what your money went to, who got them, how it uh, helped them and so forth and so on. And on top of that, we'll give you an interest back uh, over time. Since you are buying a commodity of trees with us, we will take care of that trees for you for 20 years and give you really good profit on your donation. So we believe that being with Better Globe, you are really hitting more than two birds in one zone. You are helping people to sustain business and a living, and you're making money in the process. So welcome to Better Globe for a better world. Bagong alians ang tagapagtaguyod ng adhikaing sambayanan! Mystica, you have been to see the Better Globe plantation in Kenya. Uh, how do you feel about looking at the mukau tree for the first time? First of all, I've never seen mukau trees before. And um, 
In Philippines, we've known about mahogany trees. So uh, learning that mukaw trees are also uh, a family of mahogany, right? So I was quite impressed to know and to find out that, you know, how can they actually grow in semi-arid lands? Because I never thought that uh, with those kinds of lands that are really, really very dry, you can hardly, you know, you can hardly possibly think that any tree or any other uh, crop could possibly um, grow on that area. But when I found out, when I've seen myself in reality that they are actually growing, I was very impressed. Okay, Mr. Yan, I just want to know what, uh, what are these about? Because it really looks so good. It's nice to eat. Or is are these really something that you can eat or what? You can. You can. I cannot. No, you cannot. Oh, okay. If you are a goat, you can. But are you a goat? Well, I am not a goat. Then you cannot. Okay, so I cannot. So, so that please is clear. explain. Would you please explain what are these all about? Because as um, soon as I got here, I saw them doing all this stuff. So I want to know. Yes, Mr. Thanks for your interest. Please. This is the the fruits of the the mukau tree. Ah, okay. So, these fruits are collected here in the neighborhood from very nice trees. Right. And then they come here. Right. And then we have this young lady that will take away right. the fruit pulp. But how Just long will it take before they can actually harvest all these fruits? How long will it take? They take... Um, um, uh, every week we go and collect some new oh, really? to have fresh seeds for the nursery. Uh, so, how old is that uh, mukau tree before they can actually bear these fruits? Would it be like how many years uh, A mukau tree before it gives good fruits is at least 10 years. Oh, 10 years. Oh my God. So it takes a long, long years. I mean, yes, that's yes, a long yes. years yes, yes, yes. before they can actually have all this. Okay. So what's she doing right now? Well, yeah, you see, she's taking away the fruit, oh, right? Yeah, okay. Look here, look here. Right, right. Yeah, you see? Yeah. Yeah. This is now oh, gone. Okay, so this is just a this. peeling and then that's what she got? Yes. Okay, so what can we get inside? Aha! This is now the nuts. Okay, that's are the nuts. These are the nuts, but these are wet. I can show you some dry ones. Also, oh, do, do they have to go and dry them first before they can actually crack them? They were dried right here. Oh, okay. So they don't have to go and dry them uh, under the sun? No, they are dried right All here. All right, okay. And these nuts are very, very hard. Yes. So they have to be cracked with a knife. And oh, this is what this so that's is. what she's doing right there. So it has to be a very, very strong knife to do it. And, and a very, very, very precise lady. Yes. This yes. is why ladies are good for this job. They're not brute. Oh, really? Well, some ladies are, but not these ones. Okay, I, I, I can see that some of them got like two holes or three or four or one or, one, or, or nothing. Or nothing. Oh, okay, so that means? Well, you see, yeah, uh, they should have at least two. Oh, okay. But we cannot know from the outside, so we just crack them. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay, imagine how many seeds, like how long? One, one seed like this gives one tree. Right, yeah? right. So you put this in the nursery. Okay. Yeah, and the nursery is right over there. I hope you will Yeah, I said, yeah, we're going to go there later. Go and there. how long will it take can you, before you can actually see them, uh, you know, like can starting this. to, to uh, how do you call it, sprout? Germinate. Or something? Like germinate. germinate or okay. Something. So it yeah. takes about 10 days only? 10 days, yeah. Oh, really? And, and 10 days it will wow. be ready. Right. Yeah. It actually came from this one and then to that one, to that one. Oh my yeah. God, I can't believe it. See? That's really interesting. So for you to know, we're going to go back there and find out all the seedlings. Now we're going to have a look at the seed, the nursery the there, and there are the seedlings which are standing there. Oh, yes. So you think that uh, that will be a good investment for the people uh, to buy mukau trees? Well, absolutely, because first of all, mukau trees are very, very quality trees. So um, they really have to invest in those kinds of trees because they cannot really think that they're going to lose some money with this one. Because for just an amount of 15 euros, you know, to start with, and then later on, they would actually get big profits in 20 years. For me, that's an excellent kind of investment. In the, not investment in a, like a investment in a, you know putting your money in, a, in the bank or whatever. But this is like buying a certain commodity that you're really sure that that commodity is something that is very useful. Sometimes it's really hard to invest in a certain way where you can actually think: Is this um, a sure kind of investment of you know uh, of my money or whatever? But for trees. This is definitely the right way.
Uh, Mystica, this is now what we call a propagator, which is like a mini greenhouse. Okay. The seeds are being sown inside. Okay. And it is very sensitive to cold, so it has to be kept hot. Are they being dug in or they just throw them like they spread them all over? No, uh, we dug. actually we sow them in lines. Oh, <coughs> in lines. <coughs> yeah. Okay. And then they germinate. <coughs> and this happens in the space of some 10 days. Right. And these little seedlings here, okay. these are already okay for... Oh, uh, so once you see something like that, so it's ready to be uh, yeah. transferred it somewhere is. else? It is, it is. Okay. I hold it for you. Yeah, please hold it. Thank you. This one, this one, this one. Wow. Wow, it's cool. It is, you, you better give it to these ladies and to put it inside. Yeah. yeah. That's nice. I can't believe it looks like this when it's just a baby. <laughs> yeah. huh. And then what is big? It's oh and this is this now it's goes big. underneath this plastic. And oh. then <coughs> when it is a bit bigger, it gets And big. that's when they okay. Uh, let's take a look at those leaves. Yeah. Okay. So how long? A couple of weeks. Oh yeah? That's it? Um, all together, eh? mm -hmm. uh, this this may be having one and a half months, right? And they are ready in uh, two and a half to three months. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So in two and a half to three months, uh, they're ready for planting. So these are already ready. Okay. These ones can be planted right away. Right away. Okay. So I'm gonna plant one later. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's great. Right. Yeah. Oh, how about those? Those are empty. Oh, yeah. so, okay. Can I plant this? Can I just see sure. how it looks like or how it feels like? How can I plant it? Is yeah. there anything yeah. I can use? Oh, so that's the one. Okay. Then you put it I'll just make sure this uh, up to here. Oh. Then you can use her uh, fingers. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Right, right. Let me take a picture. Okay, okay. It's okay. Oh, thank you. It's okay. Nice. Isn't it nice? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, yes. Oh, cool. You just pricked out one seedling into a poly bag, and the tree you're going to plant is waiting for you over there yeah. in the full hot sun, and we will see who can stand it, you or the tree. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, I have to water your yeah, vine. Yeah, yeah. Your vine. Yeah, it's just yeah, like, yeah. oh, yeah, it yeah. needs some TLC. Yeah. It's like a baby. You have it's to give just it like some a baby. Food. You have to give some milk. Some yeah. drink. Right? Yeah, some, some milk. Right. Yeah. Tell me all about babies. Alright, that's my baby Mukau tree. That's it. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really actually kissed it. Yeah, why not? I kissed you the should. Mukau tree yeah. here in you, Kenya. You can say it is so good, so you can it is actually so kiss good. it. It is so sweet. It is so sweet. I finally was able to kiss this Mukau tree in Kenya that I've been waiting for. I can't believe it. This is a dream come true. So, Mr. Yan, can you tell me about this Mukau tree? How old is this tree right now? Can you see? It's strong, eh? Yeah, I can't, even, I can't even, I can't even, I can't even hold it with No. Yeah, so this it's is a, a tree fatter. of not even four years old, but three oh, and a really? half years old. Three yeah. and a half. Three oh and a half my years goodness. Old. So imagine if we have to wait for 10 or oh, 20 years. <laughs> so this is just three and a half. Oh uh, we God. we are uh, anticipating a growth of, uh, let me come here, Rino. Okay. a growth of something like 40, 50 centimeters, oh, which is like this. So that's huh? going to be how big it is. Yes, uh, by some, um, uh, I would say at least 15 years old, right. maximum 20 years old, though that might be a bit too long. Mm -hmm. And then we want to have it nice and straight. Wow, yeah. And then this is now the tree that gives the mahogany. Yes. The nice furniture. Right. Which right. Uh, will be quality, yeah. Quality Good for. Quality. Uh, for doors, for right. furniture, for wardrobes, yes, yes. even parquet. This is very hard wood. Eh? Oh, yes. uh, you can compare to thick wood. Yeah, thick, thick wood like is also from Thailand. Quality, yeah, yeah, thick is quality. also. Uh, but the color is nicer than thick. It is a warm brown color. Uh, and thick it can be a little bit dull. Darker. Some dark. Darker, eh? This yeah. is nicer. Right, this right. is a beautiful tree. Uh, but yeah. from a, a technological point of view, wood technology. This tree is as good as thick, and from an aesthetic point of view, I well, aesthetic is always uh, subjective. It, right. It's your own point of view. Right. But most people will like the wood of this tree more than the wood of thick. Oh. 
but it is a very resistant tree. Thick wood, thick wood might be a little bit harder. It's a, it is in fact, but for a mahogany tree, this is what it takes. Right, right. Yeah. But that durability, I think, it's just uh, actually a durability will be okay. Your, yeah, just equivalent to the thick wood as yes, well. Yes, right? yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now we just. Uh, yeah, you've just heard Mr. Yan explain to you uh, what this uh, mukauter is all about. So this is going to be the tree. This is a sample of the tree that you are going to buy, as a matter of fact. And this is just three and a half years old. Can you imagine it's going to be like 20 years from now? That's going to be huge, just like what he said a while ago. So this is a good thing that at least I can show you guys how it looks like. I finally was able to touch it and kiss a mukau tree in Kenya. I can't believe that. Okay, so uh, behind me, you can actually see a lot of mukau trees more right there that's being planted uh, for three and a half years, right? Exactly. And uh, of course, you know, it's really wonderful to see, to really see the reality of all these trees that I've been looking for before. It's just, you know, I was able to see them on YouTube only but now behind me is the reality thing I can't believe it so it's quite a nice and exciting um, experience to be here in Kenya by the way and of course with the help of Mr. Reno Solberg and Mr. Yan who uh, was able to uh, you know to point out you know from point to point and to level to level you know how these mukau trees are all about so I've learned a lot of things about the mukau that you're going to uh, buy later on so Philippines Hang on because I'm going to be back to the Philippines and I'm going to show you all of this stuff and you're going to be shocked and surprised. All right. <laughs> Bagong alians ang tagapagtaguyod ng adhikaing sambayanan. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a world class for the human test dancers?
Miss Global Green Revolution goes to Miss Chini Kimpo aka Sushi Kempo. <laughs> Miss Sushi Kempo Ayan. Ayan nama, Miss Kurama. Ayan, I'm at the Perino 2012 Miss Global Green Revolution goes to Chini Kimpo aka Sushi Kempo. Okay, pull it up again with our distinguished guests for tonight. Alright, uh, we have our female category winners, our green revolution of green. Uh, it's global green revolution, Chini uh, Kimpo. Good evening once again and may kasama na naman tayong isang beauty queen dito, napakagandang beauty queen sa tabi ko. Would you like to introduce yourself? Good evening to everyone. Uh, I'm Chini Timpok, or also known as Miss Sushi Temple. Nice, ang ganda ng Sushi Temple talaga. Parang Shirley Temple, ano? <laughs> so, um, anong napanalunan mo dun sa pageant? Anong title? Um, Miss Better Glow. Miss Better Glow, wow. Ano, na narinig ko na nasa personality mo do yung um, fighter ka and hindi ka quitter. Kasi nung una yata, medyo nag-aalangan ka na yata na baka hindi ka manalo or baka... Parang negative ka nung una. Nas, nag, nag, -rise alang, nag rise ka lang. Sige, Kasi share po, mo sa akin. Um, before, um, marami po kami nag magkakasama mm -hmm. na punta dun sa Mystica Pageant po mm -hmm. para mag-audition. And then, um, mm -hmm. sila, good, tapos ako, bad. Tapos, <laughs> Paano paano ba? Sige nga, bad. Kasi po, ano, papaisip kami. Before po, um sobra akong mahiya ay eh, wala akong confidence sa sarili kasi talaga mm -hmm. po. Tapos yung ano, may makaharap lang ako ng ibang tao. Sobrang kabado po ako, yung parang nilgas. Second the mong yan, hindi ka pa kagano'n ka confident. <laughs> Siguro po ano, um di lang ako sanay na maki ano sa ibang tao mm -hmm. or sa maraming tao. Pero paano mo nilabanan 'yun? Paano ka nagtagumpay? Siguro po dahil kay mami kasi sa pang-aapi. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kasi uh, po, ano yun, parang nung nag-audition kami, ayun, nandadown ako kasi, yun nga po, uh, parang wala akong confidence sa sarili. Tapos, ano, talagang tumayo lang ako dun sa, sa stage na yun. Siguro kasi, ang nakita ko sa'yo, siguro yung kare sa mga tao kasi, pag sobrang... Kahit gano'n kayo hinang isang tao, pero pag sobrang nabubugbog na, lumalabas na yung tapang yan eh. Kumbaga sa, sa dami ng sukat na naano mo, lumalabas na yung pagka-fighter sa sarili mo, di ba? So, nakita mo ba yung sa sarili mo na lumabas yun, na talagang papatanahin ko kay Miss Mystica or kay Mami na deserving ako sa ganito? Oh yes po. Um, thankful nga po kasi dahil dun sa pageant na to, dahil sa nung unang audition, siyempre, di ba pag nadadown tayo, Doon ka kumukuha ng lakas para maging, magkaroon ka ng lakas ng loob at ng confidence sa sarili mo. Okay, mapunta naman tayo ngayon sa napanaliwanan mong title. Anong, anong, paano, to, paano to ang nag-pave ng way or paano to naging way para maunawaan mo yung mga present problems natin sa environment, especially sa pagkakalbo ng mga puno? Ano bang na, pumasok sa isipan mo? Um, no, kasi po, <laughs> Diba po, Better Globe, mm -hmm. parang naisip ko rin po na maganda to kasi this is ano, about our environment. Kung paano masisave, di ba po ngayon, sobrang, ano, sobrang dami ng calamities, yung mm -hmm. konting ulan lang, hangin, sobrang dami lang nadadamay, yung tulad po before yung bagyo, kasi nakakalbo na yung mga puno, kasi pag nagmimina sila, hindi nila pinapaltan, Kasi ang trees talaga ang pinaka-importante sa ating environment kasi parang nag-save siya ng life kasi, di ba? Doon tayo kumukuha ng resource, di ba ng pagkain, ng shelter, di ba? Tama ka nga naman doon. Taga saan ka pala? May province ka ba? Kabite lang. Ang Kabite. Pero doon ba nakikita mo na may problema din kayo sa environment? Sa lugar nyo? 
Meron po, pero mm -hmm. sa lugar po namin, sa lugar, hindi naman po ganun siyang bahain kasi nga po may mga puno rin nakatayo, ganun po. But if you are given a bigger opportunity or mas malawak na grass and kapangyarihan, ano yung unang-unang mga gagawin para i-address yung problem sa environment? Dahil total, miss, ano ka na rin, talagang yung title mo is also environment related. So, papalindigan man na yan. Anong, kung may kapangyarihan ka na talaga, kung may way ka na talaga, anong unang gagawin mo? Uh, Siyempre po, uh, gagawin ko yung tungkol sa environment natin, kilang, kilangan natin ng maraming trees, mga plants, mm -hmm. para sa, para sa atin. The resource din po, yung ganun. So, we need ka makipag-usap sa mga government officials, sa mga NGO, sa mga tao na sa position para tulungan ka. We need ka gamitin yung tinatahak mo ngayon sa showbiz at yung title mo para maging instrument yun para matulungan yung cost na pinag-alaban mo. Opo. Ba? Okay. So, mapunta naman tayo. Mukhang may pelikula tayong dalawa na magkasama. Tama ba? Yes po. Yung... Hmm. Kasama tayo sa? Querido. Hmm, Querido. Anong role mo doon? Sige, share mo sa kanila. Um... <laughs> Asawa ng Asawa. anak ni Miss Mystica. Napakita mo ba din yung capability mo sa acting? Naramdaman mo ba na naging isa ka ba dun sa karakter na ginagamparan mo? Opo, dun po kasi, um, dun po sa role namin, um, may lesson po dun makukuha. Mm -hmm. Yung parang yung role namin, puro lesson siya kasi um, we're just ano, kabataan pa lang, teenager. Na nag-asawa? Opo. Parang gano'n. Karang hindi mo sa atin ngayon, di ba? So, maganda nga naman na mapulod niyo yung pelikula para makita niyo yung mga possible consequences pag hindi kayo handa pag na mag-asawa pa pero napilitan kayo dahil sa mga sa choices niyo na rin tsaka sa mga circumstances, di ba? Tama ba? Ano ba? Invite mo pa sila? Invite mo sila sa Kerido? Um, invite ko po kayo lahat na manood ng Kerido. Coming soon na po siya. At maganda po ito. Marami po kayong lesson sa makukuha lang sa mga kabata. Kabataan. Tama ba? Mm, at mas makakarelate kayo dahil sinasabi ko sa inyo, yung pili ko lang ito ay hindi lang, dahil po, hindi lang dahil sa may moral lesson or anything, kundi ang nangyayari ito sa pang araw-araw na buhay. Marami makakarelate dahil sa modern na panahon ngayon, marami din naman talaga ang napunta sa ganun sitwasyon. Kagaya mo, kagaya ko, di ba? Apo. Mm -hmm. ano, bang, ma, ano bang mensahe ang gusto mong iparating din sa mga nangarap din mag-artista, nangarap maging beauty queen, o sa mga taong gusto lang tumulong sa ating environment? Total, lahat naman yun nakikita na sa'yo. So, maaring sa mga manonood, may mga katulad mo din na isa sa tatlong yun ay gusto nilang tahakin. Ay po. Uh, good evening po ulit sa lahat. Ang una-una po, ang kailangan po natin talaga ay tiyaga, at confidence sa sarili, lakas ng loob, tiwala, para makuha natin o maabot natin lahat ng pangarap natin. You know I like you. We got you as a director here in the Philippines because you had a certain status, you were well known, but now I'm seeing on YouTube, yeah, I mean, there's, there's pictures of you and this guy. Who is he? Where did you get him? Like out of the street and you're making a movie? This is not what you've been hired for. This needs to stop.
minute. I thought you won't be here till later. Well, there's something important that uh, we needed to discuss, and so I thought it was better if I was to come right away. <laughs> How can you do this? <laughs> Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Op, 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 op. Open Gangnam Style. Gangnam Style. Op, 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 op. Open Gangnam Style. Ano mo ba siya? Boyfriend ko siya, mami. Hindi mo pa alam, mami, hindi luluko ka lang niya? Anong niluluko? Ginagamit ka lang ng tawag niyan! Ginagamit saan? Ginagamit niya para sumikat! Para sumikat? Totoo ba yung sinasabi niya? Yes, ma!
right, uh, my friends, I'm going to introduce you our star in the movie called Care Widow, none other than Mr. Kid Lopez. So, Mr. Kid Lopez, kumusta? Uh, okay lang. Okay lang. Okay, so, ano ang feeling mo ngayon dahil this is going to be your first movie? Uh, masaya ba? Ninenerbios ba? Or talagang super excited? Uh, masaya naman, sobra. Kasi sa akin yung binigay na ganong ano eh. Opportunity. Mm -hmm. Okay. So noong nalaman mo na gagawa talaga kami ng isang pelikula na talagang nakalaan sa'yo through the uh, support of uh, Doc Jan Ortiz Tiope. Kasi mga kaibigan, dahil po kay Doc Jan, kasi it was his idea talaga na bigyan siya ng uh, uh, isang magandang uh, role sa isang pelikula. Kaya ito po yung kerido. At siya po yung nagsuggest na kerido po mismo ang title. So, nung nalaman mo na kerido, ano ba ang unang sumagip sa utak mo? Uh, nung unang sina ano ko sa utak ko, Ang kerido kasi akala ko ano? Kabit. Kabit siya, kabit. Diba? Kaya <laughs> Pero, <natawa ako. laughs> yes. Pero noong, uh, noong tiningnan ko tala kung ano ibig sabihin ng kerido, it means sweetheart, o kaya beloved, o kaya dear. Parang ganon. Kasi it's a Spanish term for something na dear. Parang honey, sweetheart, ganon pagdating sa Spanish. Okay. So, uh, para lang magkaroon naman ng idea yung mga tao na something like, para bang, alam mo naman, kasi ako, mahilig ako sa mga double meaning, di ba? So, ang unang uh, sasagip sa isip ng mga viewers o kay mga audience natin ay isang uh, pelikula na ah, kabit. Yun ang number one, di ba? Na talagang pupunta sa utak nila. Pero ang mas mahalaga, kailangan pong panoorin nila yung pelikula para at least alam po nila na ito po ay may katuturan at hindi lang po puro kung ano yung mga, kung ano man yung mga haka-haka nila kasi nung una kasi marami silang scenes na akala nila uh, hindi uh, ito something na may aral o kaya may moral lessons o no pero of course hangga't hindi pa nila nakikita yung pelikula of course hindi nila talaga alam kung ano talaga ang nilalaman nito, di ba? And of course, eto, uh, take your chance para uh, invite na rin ang ating mga viewers. Uh, good evening everyone. Uh, Ini-invite ko po ay namanood ng Kirido. Coming soon na po siya. Ayan, wala pang okay. exact date pero later on malalaman nila dahil i-announce po namin is either through sa YouTube o kaya sa Facebook. So, mga kaibigan, eto po ulit si Kerido, the Kerido King, Mr. Kid Lopez. Okay, so see you guys later. Okay mga kaibigan, napanood nyo po kung ano yung mga i-feature po namin at kung ano-ano po yung mga advocacies na ginagawa ko ngayon. So, uh, bilang uh, pasasalamat, uh, gusto ko pong... Uh, Batiin at pasalamatan na rin po si Mr. Wino Solberg. He's actually right now in Norway and he is the CEO and Chairman of Better Globe Group. And of course, uh, with my uh, Secretary and Executive Director of uh, PWDs, Persons with, Deeds, with Disabilities uh, Division, uh, Dr. Pons Aberwin, and siya rin po yung isa sa mga kasama po namin sa aming advokasya. So mga kaibigan, ito si Mr. Janko to give you his final words. Um, so we invite everyone who wants to help or yung sa mga taong um, who owns a charity, foundation, or just any individual who wants to lend a helping hand to sa ating mga PWDs, sa ating environment, sa mga concerns ng public na hindi gano'n na adjust ng government, we're really open to um, your help. So we invite everyone to have their share or to put in their um, peace para sa atin, sa, for everyone else's good. That's right. And they can also go to mysticacharityfoundation.org at uh, doon po makikita kung paano po sila makapag-donate, kung saan po sila makapag-donate. Mm. And of course, to everybody who wants to be involved here, it's either you're a politician or a businessman or somebody who belongs to a group or you're just an ordinary or individual who really wanted to share mm -hmm. any help or support for our advocacy, especially with my Mystica Charity Foundation. So just come forward and uh, whatever 
whatever we can do for you and whatever you can do for us and let's help okay so mga kaibigan until next time antabayan niyo ulit thursdays okay 7 to 8 p.m all right to success see you soon